All right, let's get to one of this bitch. Um, I've seen guys, well, I had one guy said don't use anything lighter than 530 motor oil, and then seen guys use diesel for wounding out cylinders and all this other shit. When I do them, all I use is just fucking air tool oil. I mean, you can probably use WD-40 if you want to do. I'm sure I'm going to get slack for this too, but oh well, I guess. Give everything a nice good spray in. Get a good spray in down and away we go. I don't know, I like to put the uh, I like to do slow speeds. So I got this drill set at number one speed and we'll see what she does. Effort, guys. Alright, I usually go reverse, get a little different mark on it. Check her out, see what she looks like now. Grab a rig here and see if I made things better or made shit fucking worse. Alright, this is uh, time to let the valves. I already did some work on them. As you can see, the seats are nice and clean. Um, I'll show you a valve. If it'll focus. Come on, fucker. Come on. As you can see, I already done some work on them. And they're pretty much good for go. But had somebody to ask had somebody uh ask me about them. And all you need to do is get yourself some uh valve grinding compound grease. You can use water based, I guess. I don't know. I just grabbed what they had. And I just gooped the fuck out of them. Just slop that shit right on. Alright. Goop the fuck out of it. And I like to say I'm <laughs> never. The only, the only schooling I have with these small engines is, uh, High school small engine shop. So, uh, I'm sure those guys out there that actually have schooling on this and training, they're like, no, 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 don't do it that way. Uh, this is the way I vaguely remember from school. High school's kind of foggy. One too many, uh, Funny smelling cigarettes. I'm putting the shit on the valve here too. I'm not paying attention to what my camera's doing. I'm looking at what I'm working on. One too many funny smelling cigarettes back in high school, and one too many barley pops over the years, and my memory's kind of hazy. <clears throat> Anyways, goop the fucker on there. I got the right oh, Yeah, that's the intake. Drop your valve back down. Or stick your shit, what the fuck? Okay, there you go. And get yourself one of these lapping tools. Stick the bitch on there and just spin it. Now you do the 
do is pick up the spin, pick it up, turn it a little bit, spin it. Oops. Yeah, fucker is dirty now. Anyways, <clears throat> just take the bitch on there and when I got the compound on my goop and my freaking doohickey at the top of the valve, I got fucking everywhere. You guys get the gist of it, you'll hear it as it finds out or whatever, you know, it'll start smoothing out. See that sounds pretty rough. It'll get quieter, quieter, quieter. Alright. Wipe your shit off. Make sure you get all this grinding compound off your valve and your seat and all this other shit because if I remember correctly, well I know it's not good for it because it's so gritty, but if I remember correctly I'll really fuck up your shit if you don't get all that up, get all that compound out. But anyways, long story short, what you want in the end, come on you bitch, focus. You want it to look like that. Alright. Now if your valve is burnt, what they call being burnt, there'll be pits. And you're probably not going to be able to take that lapping compound and get the pits out of it. Um, if you don't want to buy new valves, do what I've done in the past is, uh, if your high school has a small engine shop, um, usually you can bring your, uh, your valve up there, you know, call the con contact the shop teacher, whether it's, you know, you call them on the phone or through email, go up to your local high school or whatever, and usually you can get them turned for free or fairly cheap. Five bucks a valve or something. Give the shop teacher five bucks per valve and then give them an extra 20 and tell them to give it to uh, someone in the classes that's decent at shit so they don't fry your valves. Because I priced out valves for this motor and these fuckers are anywhere from 35 to 45 bucks a piece. Okay. And after dropping 40 bucks on a connecting rod and 70 dollars on piston and rings and then the gas kit was like another 50 or 60 bucks did not want to buy more I did not want to buy new valves no thanks but anyways let's get everything's nice and uniform and clean all the way around and that's about what you want to look like that's about it all right all right I'm gonna do the finish lapping on my exhaust valve and clean out this block really well. I guess I'll start throwing guts in it. Um, kind of waited to the last minute to get a uh, valve spring compressor. I just used a screwdriver to pop the springs off these valves. Well, I decided to bite the bullet, spend the 45 bucks and get a valve spring compressor. That'll be in the first thing tomorrow morning. So, But there's still a lot of shit I can get in here before those, so. Anyways, I'm going to do this exhaust valve and I'll turn you guys back on when I get something else, go to do something else.